Hiya. You all right? Come on. Last day. Yeah. All right, Lisa. Yeah, thanks for the lift, love. Hey, no problem. Uh, is Grandad running late? He's not coming. Oh, Lisa. I know he's upset you, but come on. It's me up there today, not you. Leave it, Debbie. You moved, I get a free shot. Ow! What? I hardly touched you. Go on then, get me back. Ah! Oi! We're late. Go and get your pee kit now. I will blame you when he gets sent home for playing rough. Hey, guess what? Your luck is in, my son. Because I have booked you two tickets to the flicks tonight. Mr. Joe, you just saw me crash in Burma, Katie. Right, so take someone else. Who? Look, I'd love to say I'm tempted to buy you a generous offer, but uh, it's not me. You have to. I've already asked Charles. She's well up for it. Well, why don't the two of you go? You know why? Noah, sleepover, one night only. <sighs> you going? He's wild about the idea. Aren't you, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> Miss Dingle, you saw Lisa Dingle at her home on the 7th of January, the night after the alleged attack. Is that right? Yes. Can you describe that meeting? I heard she was off sick from work, so I went to check on her. She was upset, so I took her back to my house. Did she tell you why she was upset? Yeah. She'd been raped. Did she tell you who by? No, she said it was a stranger. And she didn't get a good look at his face. As far as you know, had she told her husband? No. We already know that Mrs. Dingle let my client kiss her on the night before the alleged attack. Did you ever witness any flirtatious behaviour between them? No, I didn't. You never saw them flirt? Not like you're thinking, no. Miss Dingle, you're under oath. They messed about, joking and stuff, but it was never serious. That you knew of? My granddad was there. I hardly think she'd give Derek the come on with her husband next door, would she? And when, in your opinion, would she give him the come on? Lisa didn't make this up. I know her. I've never seen her in such a state. Then why didn't you take her back into her husband? Sorry? That night when you found her outside in the dark, all worked up and shaky. Was it because she couldn't face him? No, it was because she'd been raped. So she claims. Miss Dinker, would you say you were close to your grandfather? Close enough. What would he find most difficult to deal with? His wife having sex with another man because she was forced or because she wanted to? Too. Quick jog along the seafront. Spot of Tai Chi on the beach. No, it's a surprise. Aaron, don't push it. I know he's a bit perkier, but you know how he is. He ain't been pushed. I like this, trust me. You know yesterday when you were going on about when he was a kid? Yeah. Are we going to have a sandcastle competition? What? No. It's better than that. Oh, he's not going in one of them old fishing boats, is he? Only because you don't want to chuck your breakfast up. That was a vicious rumour. He remembered it wrong. Well, it's not that anyway. It's when he was talking about the seagulls. Every kid wants to fly. Now, you go through this stage where you really think you can do it if you just close your eyes and wish hard enough. But it always ends up with a crash landing on the bedroom floor. Right. Can you lend me some money? Can you tell me what it's for? Just trust me. All right, you'll get it back. I must be mad. Eh, uh, we can down with this. Eh, uh, I would, but I'm eating vegan, Hannah. Look at that, Lila. What have you got in there? A dead body or what? Oh, that one's full of my shoes. It's all that. Stuff for the charity shops had a clear out. Yeah, we thought we were about time you saw Flora again. Oh, I see. Try to get me good books, are we? Coming back at van. Yeah, 
Yeah, give us that. Oh. Chocolate, gummy bears and chilli crisp. We've made an executive decision. Uh, I'll meet you later. I'm just going to help David first. Great. All more for us then. Just going to lick your boots and all. You've got to run him round after you like a lap dog. Uh, it's called working, Alicia. Going above and beyond. Maybe you should take a few notes. Nah, I don't do crawling. <laughs> Maybe you should not be so clever and work out what she actually wants. What? Pear eyes? Try again, love. You need a bigger van. Ah, yeah, no. Yeah, I'll clear some stuff out first. I used to use all this mule paste. Oh, the kids on. Uh, Foster. I used to live with this couple that were proper clean freaks. I had to do the whole kitchen floor every day before school and then dry it with a hairdryer. I thought it looked too late. You kidding me? What, because all foster parents are like Brad and Angelina? <sighs> Sorry. It's all right. Hard graft I can handle. But then Uncle Creepo took the locks off the bathroom door. What for? I didn't stay to find out. After your one-night stand with Mrs. Dingle, how does she react when you told her you didn't want to take things any further? She was upset. I tried to let her down gently. Then she gave me the silent treatment. And why do you think it was, seven weeks later, that she suddenly accused you of rape? I was starting to get closer to Lizzie. Her mate. But Lisa wasn't having that. She was snapping at the girls, telling me to back off, but I wouldn't. So, she stands up and says the worst thing she could. I have no further questions. My learner friend may have some questions for you. Mr. Benrose, would you say that you have many female friends? <laughs> More than I can count. And do you go out with them socially? All the time. Get a whole gang of us together, we go to the pub, we go out dancing. Do you ever kiss any of these women on the cheek? Maybe. The end of the night. So do you want to have sex with them all? No. And do you think they want to have sex with you? No. So what did it mean, then, this, um, peck on the cheek that you gave Mrs. Dingle? Don't know. So you, you don't know? This... This has lots of meanings, in it? Could one of them have been friendship? Could Mrs. Dingle have accepted your kiss because she was your friend? It's not what I thought at the time. Let's move on to the night of the alleged assault on Mrs. Dingle. Can you describe what happened in the staff room? I put my arms round her, and we kissed. Then we couldn't keep our hands off each other. Did you realize that Mrs. Dingle was crying? No. She says she shut down, that she uh, closed her eyes and waited for it to be over. Didn't seem like that to me. She was up for it as well. I'm sorry. You have sexual intercourse with a woman who doesn't reciprocate, who's rigid with fear, and you think she was up for it as well? She was. No, I'll tell you what she was, Mr. Benrose. She was a woman in fear of her life. A woman who thought of you as a friend, a woman whose trust you betrayed in the worst possible way. A woman who you raped. Look, look, I'm no saint, all right? I'm not proud of getting off with married women. But I've not done anything that they didn't want. And adultery isn't a crime. Oh, that order in malarkey, it's harder than it looks. Tell me about it, Doug used to do ours. Hey, you don't want a job lot of aged balsamic, do you? <laughs> See ya. See ya. Hey, why haven't you been answering your phone? I've been on a brewery day, if that's all right with you. Sounds really dull. Hardly. You know what you need? You need a night out tonight on me. That's the catch. With Nickel. Oh, you are joking. Chaz? Noah is at a sleepover. I am not babysitting me old boss for the sake of your love life. What love life? Between Noah and Nickel, I am not getting any action. Well, 
charge a hotel to expenses. Please don't be tight. I've done you plenty of favours in the past. Ah. All right, how about this? I'll owe you one. I'll check my schedule. Good, good, good. You all right? Hey. Here. That felt like I wanted a bag, so you might have put it in by mistake. Eh, uh, no, meant to get rid of that. Get rid How is that any worse than any of your others? That came out wrong, so... It's off my ex, you know, one with the snakes. Mm. Well, it's quite nice. Maybe, um, maybe Amy would like it. All right, yeah, give it a... Not bothered, whatever, as long as I get rid of it. All right. That's the thing about late lunches, though, isn't it? Just don't want to go back. See, in some places, we'll be having a siesta right now. A few hours kip and then back to the grindstone. And when will we have our tea? 11 or 12. What? That is bonkers. Yeah. Really? Oh. Hi, up. So, I hear you and me are going to the fix tonight. Funny, I heard a rumour about that as well. Hmm. Hmm. Shall we get going, Nikhil? Oh, stay for another one. They're not going to miss you, are they? See you later. Yeah. Pipe, please, Alicia. Hello. How are you? Thought you were going upstairs. Well, David wants to buy his cork, don't you? <laughs> yeah, go on then. Oh, here. Yeah. Save me carrying it around. What, what is it? Open it, see? For me? Yeah. It's only a little something just to show you that we don't all take you for granted. Ta. Will you put it on us? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not very good at this. Yeah. What does it look like? Suits you. <laughs> I'll wear it all the time. There are two counts on the indictment relating to allegations of rape by two different women. And you must decide on each case separately according to its individual merit. Now, what you must decide here today is if Mr. Benrose had sexual intercourse with Mrs. Dingle and or Mrs. Aston against their will. We may as well all go home. Could be ours yet. No chance, we're not missing the best bit. I want to see that smarmy grin wiped off his face. This is good. Juries are supposed to take ages. Are you going to call Grandad? No. Well, he could still make it for the verdict. What's the point in that? Lisa. I'm not having him here, Debbie. <laughs> not breathing in. Oh, man up, Hazel. It's only a bit of fish. And blood and guts and stringy bits. Ugh. It's weird, isn't it? I mean, imagine them all swimming round. Looks all totally different, wouldn't it? Yeah, because they wouldn't be dead. Yeah, obviously. I'm just saying it's interesting, isn't it? I mean, when they're in the sea, they're all different colours and that. Oh, do you want to go to the aquarium? No. My idea. No. So drop the David Attenborough act. Right. Who's up for finding this world famous chippy then? Oh, me, I'm starving. You don't know it's the same fish, don't you? They don't come born pre-wrapped in batter. Mm, yeah. Hello. You all right, mate? Probably the garage. If you hadn't have said that, I wouldn't have thought anything. What? Well, he's up to something, isn't he? Members of the jury, have you reached a verdict upon which you are all agreed? We have. In respect of count one, the rape of Claire Aston. How do you find the defendant guilty or not guilty? Guilty. In respect of count two, the rape of Lisa Dingle. How do you find the defendant guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. What are you going to say if Leila asks about it? Uh, that it's from your boyfriend. You are totally shameless. Well, he put it on us. Put a blatant standing there close behind us, his breath all hot on the back of me neck. He's just leading you on. He can't get enough of me. Yeah, right. Well, I mean, you've seen the text. They had pretty dodgy. Yeah. Well, here it goes. Hi, girls. All right? Nice necklace. 
Thank you. Yeah, definitely looks better on you than it did on me. What? When did you two last get anything off a bloke? Do you want me to come in? No, love. Oh, come in. So proud of you. You go on. You were found guilty. Yeah. You were found guilty for Claire. And for you? Not guilty. Why didn't the jury believe her? Because they're flaming idiots, that's why. So obvious she was telling the truth. Yeah, that Derek's a nasty, manipulative, sad little man. Mm. Who nearly had his way once more. I bet you didn't know, did he? That's only because Lisa were protective of me. I mean, why couldn't they see that? She was just... Used to bolster that other woman's case. No, Marlon. Lisa knew it was never a done deal. Anyway, at least this way gets some time. It's in the evidence, though, isn't it? What does that even mean? Once a rapist, always a rapist. Are you planning on lifting a finger tonight? Sorry? Well, it's just like working with the invisible woman, that's all. Oh, you're doing such a good job. It's a shame to spoil it now. What? I've got to go somewhere. Sorry. It's all booked and paid for. Come on, sup up. We don't have to go. Mm. I know. <laughs> well, that feels an old. Back to the Christmas bits now, mate. That's right, I'm full, thanks. Put it in a minute. Come on, Right, let's get you shunky, shall we? Go on, then. There you go. So, where are we off to next? Don't know, and I haven't got any plans. I haven't. Well, he used to have the arcades when he was a kid. We'd give him 50p every morning and then we wouldn't see him till tea time. And there weren't proper arcades, just like a little waxwork fortune teller and a grabber where you'd win a radio cassette, but no one ever did. Well, nobody forced you to go. I didn't. Pardon? I didn't go. I'd spend the 50p on cider, sit down, neck it, and spend the rest of the afternoon in the happy days. <laughs> you got drunk? Oh, yeah. 14 and on my holidays. Oh, chill out, Hazel. It's not like he's going to get an asbo now, is it? Right, uh, that shut you up. Close your mouth before someone sticks a lemon in it. Very nice, that yeah. one. No. Oh. oh, great. Jim Bob's home. I'm just grabbing some cash. Jazz! Oh, nice one. There's me thinking you weren't going to deliver. You just looking the other day it cancelled. It's <laughs> cosy. Yeah, it was. Are you all right for cash, mate? You need to be heading off now. Yeah, I can hear the pick and mix calling. No, posh peanuts. <laughs> it's got to be better than jelly lips and pontifrac cakes, isn't it? Seems daft going out now, what with all this laid on. He does look nice. What? I've put on a DVD and we'll stay in. Chaz, get us a glass while you're up, love. Grab one yourself. I'm off up. Come on, you. Now. Hmm. Olive. <laughs> look. I don't understand all this. It's done, Zach. Hmm? What did she say that were different to you? I'm not doing it, Zach. I'm not going over it again and again just to make you feel better. What do you mean? I know he were guilty. And I was pinning my hopes on the guilty verdict for me so I could come home and tell you. Huh? Like it was something I owed you, like it was the least I could do. I wanted it for you. I oh, know you didn't. The one thing I asked of you to stay away, you couldn't do. Huh? How many more times I was supporting you? That wasn't support, Zach. I was doing what you wanted and not caring about what I need. Look, all this, it's not been easy for me, too. I know. But don't you see, going through all of this, it's taken everything out of me. I've got nothing left to be worrying about you. You don't have to. I do, because I didn't get justice. And that's going to have an effect on us for the rest of our lives. And I don't know if we can ever get over it. What are you talking about? You and me. I 
I think I should be on my own. Imagine if your own brother was put up for adoption at just four years old. It was a heartbreaking time for a woman now 60, but there's help tomorrow night. Long lost family is at nine o'clock. Next here on ITV1, the visas are sorted, so Man United can take on Schalke. We're live in Old Trafford for the second leg of the UEFA Champions League semi-final.